Hi, this is Phil from Try It Streaming down at the Town Square Mall. And in this video, I am going to show you how to do the update that just came out from Cyberflex. Okay, the first thing we want to do is we want to go over to uh, Cyberflex and select it. As you can see, it's asking to do an update. What we found out was when we tried to do the update, it didn't seem to work properly. What we're going to do first here is we're going to hit cancel, and then we're going to go over to settings up in the top left hand corner. Okay, we're going to select that, and we're going to go down to where it says settings. And we're going to scroll down the settings. First thing you want to make sure that the default video player is MX player. And then we're just going to slowly go down. And when we get to a certain spot here, I'm going to make sure that it's set properly. Okay, you're going to get down to. auto backup before updating. You want to make sure that is selected. Then what you want to do is go down to where it says backup settings, select that, and you'll, you'll uh, be backing up all the settings that you have in the old version. We're going to go backup favorites. We're gonna, so if you have any favorites stored in there, we're going to back that up. And anything else, the next one is backup episode records. Okay, so now everything is backed up. All right, so what we do here is we can just hit the return button. And once we get to here, we can hit the return button two times. And that takes us out. Now this time we're going to select the Cyberflex. We're going to get that same notice, but this time we're going to do the update. All right, so... Here we're doing the update now. And the problem with this update, most updates will overwrite the old version. In this case, it's, that's not what's happening. We are actually doing the update, but it's adding an additional version. Okay? So now we went to, we have to go down to the bottom here and we're gonna hit install. Okay, now without, without getting out of this and back into it, we need to just go over to where it says open on the bottom, click on that, and this will be the new version. This is the one we just installed, okay? Now what you want to do is you want to hit the enter button and allow, and then you want to scroll down to MX Player and select that, select OK. Go down to MX Player and select that, and then go to Accept. Okay? Now, what you want to do is go up to the menu up in the top left hand corner, click on that, and now you want to go down to Settings. This is on the new version. Go to Settings. Now you'll notice MX is already selected. Now we're going to scroll down to the bottom. I'll let you know when we get there. Okay, you can see now here where it says auto backup. We can select that. But what we want to do now is go past backup, and now we want to go to restore. And now I have all three spots here. So if I go to restore, it says successfully restored. Then I'm going to go to the next one, restore, successfully restored, and restore again. Okay, now I'm going to hit the return button and get back to that screen. Now what I can do, I need to get out of this, actually, 
just hit the return button two times and it'll take you out back to the main screen. Now if you hit the home button you'll notice that we have in the recents up on top there we have actually one of those is the new version and one of them is the old version okay what we're going to do is delete the old version right now so what we want to do is hit the home button we're going to zip over to settings scroll down and over to applications select applications go down to manage installed apps okay and then we're going to scroll down and what you're going to notice is that there's two cyber flicks in there if I click on the top and when I highlight the top one you can see it's version 3.16 and the second one is 3.17 so what we want to do is go to 3.16 and select it once you do that you can scroll down and uninstall it okay so that's what we're doing uninstalling hit it again to uninstall all right and now the only one we have left is 317 okay hit the home button and let's get back to the home screen as you can see our cyber flicks in in our apps and channels row here is is missing so what we want to do is we want to put it back so hit the home button and hold it until this icon comes up where it says apps now hit the select button now scroll down because that's where it's, you're going to find it you're going to scroll over to the cyber flicks and highlight it then you're going to hit the menu button on your remote and you're going to see a, a menu come up it says move move to front or uninstall you just want to hit enter when it says move and now we're going to move it over actually we're going to bring it over to about there okay and then scroll and we're going to bring it up to the top and it's actually going to fit right in where it used to be before once you get it there hit the enter button and it'll be in place now when we hit the home button everything will be back to normal again so when we go into cyberflex We're not going to get that notice anymore. It's going to take a little bit longer to set it up, but there it is. And all, and all the settings are exactly the way it was before. Now you notice we're in the trending category. Actually, the other one was in the recently updated category. So I'm going to just show you. I'm going to go over to uh, the star where our favorites are. And if I look in there, I can see Game of Thrones. And if I go to movies, I can see John Wick. These are things that were in the favorites of the original. Okay, so that's all there is to it. And if you have any questions, you know, you guys know where I'm at. So uh, anyway, good luck. Over and out.